Hi friends, welcome to yet another video segment of our English language study. The material we are using is on screen B1 Plus and the topic under consideration is vocabulary. So we will be discussing module 7, pages 104 to 105. And this video has specially been prepared for grade 10 students of the Wave Private School. It is still me. Your English teacher, Mr. Kindness on your query. So let's see what we are going to discuss this week. This video has been prepared for three days, and this is what we are going to discuss for these three days. You can see it here, and please take note that these are your homework for these three days. Please endeavor to do your homework for each day. Please. Okay, now I want you to pause this video if you don't have your textbook and your notebook with you. So go get your textbook, your notebook, your pencil and your pen so that we can get straight into this business. Open to page 104 of your book. And here comes exercise 1. The aim of this exercise is for us to consolidate vocabulary from a test. So we are given here, choose the correct word. The health improvements, stroke rates, or benefits of smiling include stress relief and a better immune system or capacity or process. So, what is the best word here vocabulary that we have to choose? So, I want you to read all, pause this video, and give it a try. Choose the correct word and underline it. Then you can check your answer with my. Yes. The first one is. Benefits. The head benefits of smiling include stress relief and a better immune system. So you can now add, um, underline the remaining ones. You can see them chew, chewing, digest, absorb, deeply reduce, slow down, telling, and increase. You can mark them now. As we make progress to the next exercise, exercise number two. Say we should fill in loose. Juice, lung, diseases, heart, pressure, process, blood. So we want to fill them here. What do we have? Dutch vessels. What will be Dutch vessels? Will it be pressure vessels? Or will it be juice vessels? What do you think? I want you to fill in the right words there. And then you can cross check your answer. Yes, blood vessels, juice, tomatoes heart disease and the rest so i want you to copy the right answers if you've not gotten it right do the right thing now we want to make progress to exercise number three we are still consolidating vocabulary from the test that is the aim of this exercise too safety in nutrients antioxidants vitamins digestion and endorphin so fill them in here Fill them in, pause the video, and fill them in. Then you can cross-check your answer with my. Number one is vitamins. Vitamins are usually known by their letters. For instance, vitamin A is a what? Carrots. B is in eggs. And C is in citrus fruit. So A is in what? Carrots. So vitamins. Then number two is antioxidants. You can fill these words in here. Please remember to write the date. Write the date. Now we want to make progress to the next exercise, exercise number four. In exercise number four, we want to introduce vocabulary area. That is the aim of this exercise number four. We want to introduce vocabulary area. It says look at the Mediterranean diet food plate. This is the food plate of the Mediterranean. So look at the food diet. What do we have to do about it? Okay. Have you? Now, which category does each food or drink belong to? Which category does each food of the Mediterranean belong to? Which of them? Let's see. Red meat belongs to what? Lamb and beef. Dairy product belongs to butter, cheese, yogurt. So you can see them there. 
and sweets is ice cream apple pear and cake so you can copy this into your notebook that is why i have asked you to get your notebook close okay we want to now make progress to the b say use the plate to make sentence using what use the plate to make sentences using the words in exercise eight now according to the mediterranean diet we can eat vegetables like broccoli beetroot cabbage cucumber lotus onions and pears daily so we want to make sentences with other words fine in exercise a now this is what i have done so you can copy this into your textbook or your notebook if there is no space in your textbook i think there should be no space in your textbook so copy this into your what notebook and remember to write exercise 4b from pages 104 write down write it that way in your notebook so that you know where this is coming from okay now we make progress to the next which is exercise five say so we should listen listen but do we have to listen we have to read about three people talking about eating habit where is the test to read here comes the test to read so i want you to read this test speaker number one speaker number two and speaker number three having read it then match the phrases to the people two phrases are extra so we have three speakers and we have five phrases so i want you to read and match then you can compare yours with mine okay so did you get it right did you get it right pause this video and do the right thing try to read it and understand before you make progress remember the aim of this is for us to read for specific information then we can do multiple matching okay we want to make progress to exercise number six and here we want to talk about eating habit in exercise number six you say use the foods in exercise 4a and phrases in the language balls to discuss your eating habits i absolutely love is delicious or tasty i can't get enough of i can't stand or hate is or are disgusting I really don't like the taste of so we want you to do it in this order do you enjoy seafood no not really I don't like the taste of it what about you oh I absolutely love prawns I I do what maybe you enjoy eating it or you love it absolutely just as has been said now you can make sentence with other words okay you can compare my yeah do you like poultry no i can't stand it what about you i like chicken it's delicious who doesn't like chicken <laughs> it's all right though some people doesn't like chicken so what do you like can you make a sentence use uh, a particular word from exercise a phrase there then do a discussion Okay, I trust you can get that very right. As we make progress now, we are making progress to exercise seven. Seven say fill in vegetables, eggs, chicken, potatoes, fish. We want to fill them in here. So we want to fill them in here. Here we want to practice new vocabularies: baked, fried, mashed. What do we do that way? What do we do that way? What do we bake? What do we fry? Or what do we match? Which of them? Is it a uh, fish? What do you think? Okay, you can check your answer now. Check your answer. Yeah. Number one is potatoes. So you can bake, you can fry it, and you can mash it. Okay, so I want you to fill in eggs, chicken fish and vegetables accordingly okay 
So we make progress now to the next exercise 8. And exercise 8 here, we want to practice new vocabulary. You say, check the words, through phrases in bold in the word list at the back of your of the book. So check the words in bold, like sore throat, height, temperature, muzzle ache. Check them at the back of your book, the word list. Check them there, then do the need for. Okay, you can see how I've done it. Sore throat. What is sore throat? Pain in the throat because of infection. High temperature is a, a higher than normal body temperature caused by disease. So that is others. You can copy this into your notebook. Okay. Let's make progress. And I say, what's wrong with each person in exercise 8? A. What is wrong with each person in exercise 8A? Okay. Josh has got a chest infection. Meg has got food poisoning. And that is what is wrong with Phil, Mary, Brian, and Harry. Okay. We now make progress to the next exercise. And that is exercise 9. Exercise 9 says, choose the correct word. Check in the word list. At the back of your book so I want you to choose the correct word choose the correct word here we are still presenting new vocabularies Sally went to the doctor to have her twisted ankle is it treated cured or healed what do you think is the answer okay you can cross check your answer with mine underline the right answer have you done that then you can cross check with mine yes treated and two is precaution Pres uh, prescription, cures, appointment, improves, maintain, keep, or then prevent, include, lose, build, and bond. Did you get it right? Okay, good, good friends. It's been a lovely time. Please endeavor to do your homework for each day. And from me is many thanks and see you soon. See you in the next video. Bye.